Hi guys, in today's video I will show you how to do multiple track point stabilization using the easiest method. There are several ways to do it, but I'll show you the simplest way. So here I have a clip where I'm focused on one headlight, and then it shifts to another, and it's hard to stabilize the motion in that clip, even if you keyframe the position, achieving smooth stabilization is nearly impossible here. So, let me show you a very easy and fast way to do it. Let's go back to the beginning, cause I'll throw in a quick speed ramp too, not just stabilization. By moving the time I will set the beginning of the speed ramp, then let's scroll forward, I will pretend there is a beat drop of a music and then let's move the time forward again to set the ending of a speed ramp. But here, make sure to stop right when the movement starts shifting to the other headlight. Now split your clip. On another piece, press U on a keyboard to reveal keyframes and then move the time slightly forward something like that to set the beginning of the speed ramp. Now scroll forward again, or to the next beat drop if you are using music and set the end point of the speed ramp there. Now, let's cut and delete the rest since we won't need it. Next, delete the unnecessary keyframes at the start and end. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then select first layer's keyframes and go to graph editor. Here make sure edit value graph is selected and then make a smooth curve. Since it's not about speed ramp tutorial, I will make a quick and random curve. Let's do the same thing on another layer. In case you're new to speed ramps, check the video's description, I'll include a link to a full speed ramp tutorial there. So once we are done with speed ramp, we can begin stabilizing the video. I will begin with the most wanted part, the one where the camera switches from one car part to another. First pre-compose the layer. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected and then hit OK. Double click on pre-composed layer and then make sure to pre-compose your clip here as well. Now click on warp stabilizer and then change a few settings. Set smoothness from 1 to 10, depends on your clip, I will set it 1% since the clip is not too shaky. Change the method to perspective. Expand advanced and check detailed analysis and uncheck fast analysis and simply wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done we can check the video. It looks fine, but not perfect. Sometimes, setting the method to perspective doesn't work perfectly, so take your time and try using position or other options as well. But 99% of the time, perspective works just fine. Once we are done with the warp stabilizer, pre-compose the layer one more time. Now it's important to scroll to the point where the clip has fully switched to another car part, in my case it's right here. Now from that point, click on track camera and wait until it's done. Once it's done, select some points on a part you are going to stabilize and lock on, in my case it's the headlight. Now right click and select create solid and camera. I will correct the solids rotation and then make the solid tiny, by setting the scale to 2. Now toggle off your clip and then pre-compose those layers. Make sure you didn't move anywhere and from that point, click on stabilize motion. Move the track point onto that small solid right there, then slightly increase the size of the track point. Click on options here and make sure RGB is selected, then enable adapt feature on every frame and hit OK. Finally click on the analyze forward button and wait for it to finish. Once it's done analyzing, click on apply and then hit OK. Now close tracking window and then double click on pre-composed layer. Make sure to toggle off track solid layer and toggle on your clip. We can now close the composition from here and then check the stabilization. Everything looks great, but we just need to fix those black edges now. Let's press S on a keyboard and I will set the scale to 110. Let's also center the headlight, enable proportional grid from here and drag your clip until it's centered. Let's check the video now. All looks good and smooth. That was one of the easiest methods you can use and stabilize those type of shots, let me know in the comments if it was easy to follow. Now we can go back to our main composition and simply stabilize the first part of the clip, I won't skip or speed up that part so you can check it out and follow my steps. If you're an old AM film subscriber, then you probably already know how to stabilize regular videos. First pre-compose the layer. Double click on pre-composed layer and then make sure to pre-compose your clip here as well. Now click on Warp Stabilizer and apply the same settings you used for the first clip. Once we are done with the Warp Stabilizer, pre-compose the layer one more time. Now click on Track Camera and wait until it's done. Once it's done, select some points on a part you are going to stabilize and lock on. Now right click and select Create Solid and Camera. I will correct the solids rotation and then make the solid tiny, by setting the scale to 2. Now toggle off your clip and then pre-compose those layers. Click on Stabilize Motion. Move the track point onto that small solid right there, 
then slightly increase the size of the track point. Click on options here and make sure RGB is selected, then enable adapt feature on every frame and hit OK. Finally click on the analyze forward button and wait for it to finish. Once it's done analyzing, click on apply and then hit OK. Now close tracking window and then double click on pre-composed layer. Make sure to toggle on your clip and toggle off track solid layer. We can now close that composition from here and then check the stabilization. It looks so smooth, but let's fix those black edges. Let's press S on a keyboard and I will set the scale to 110. Let's also center the headlight, enable proportional grid from here and drag your clip until it's centered. Let's check the video and the final stabilized results. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.